the craziest place I've ever done stand up was in a laundromat. <laughs> like for money? It's a whole thing. For me, if I can do that, I can do anything. But they're just so cool. Hey, it's me, Sam B. I'm here with correspondent Mike Brown. Let's get some background here. Okay. You do yes. everything. Yeah, an I do actor, stand up, you're a stand up. I act, I write, I sing to myself in the shower. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I put together this tour. It's like 2017, right? So okay. me and my friends, four comics, we call each other the Acceptor Comics. We're gonna do 25 nights, different city each night, multiple shows. Let's do it. One of the shows was in Buckley, West Virginia. Now, um, I don't know if you've ever had the pleasure of going to Buckley, West Virginia. I can't say that I have. Okay. I thought it was like the West Coast of Virginia. Maybe. Just like a beach vibe. To describe it, it felt like 2016, Obama in the car. But outside felt like 1865 Civil War. Like, oh, Confederate flag here. Oh, this is great. Confederate flag here, okay. We're all black dudes. So we get to this venue, it's called Munchies. Outside Munchies, there's spray painted clowns with yeah. red eyes. Now, I was looking at it, not even from like a racial aspect. Mm -hmm but from more of a, like a what the f aspect, because we didn't know we were gonna be opening for a Juggalo rap concert. <gasps> It's like if you're gonna go see Busta Rhymes, but first John Mulaney. It's a weird combination. Sure. I don't know if you're familiar with the Juggalo. They're fans of the Insane Clown Posse. Yes. It's a rap group, and if you don't know who they are, close your eyes, imagine what they look like, and you are correct. And so my boys are like, listen, what the f did you get us into? And I'm like, listen, do you wanna do stand up or not? So you look into the crowd and everyone has their face painted. When I saw it, I felt it was like reverse blackface because I'm like, why is everybody with their face painted? <laughs> but I said, you know what, I'm gonna do all my New York jokes. And and it was like a really dope show. That community was so welcoming. I would imagine if you don't know what a juggalo is that you would look at them and go, holy f But I do know this, they are there to be entertained. Once you get past the outer exterior of just a clown, they're really cool people. Don't you love it when people upend your expectations of them? When you walk into a situation, you think it's gonna be one way and then it just <laughs> flips on its head and you're like, I learned something here. So after this black dude comes up to me, his brother comes up and he's like, yo, you're from New York, from Brooklyn. He's like, yo man, this community is really cool, man. You down with the crown? Pulls out some crown royale. Says, hey man, you really should get with this community. And then he starts pitching me on the juggalos. Hello to Lex the Hexmaster. Oh. It was really great meeting you. We still follow each other on Instagram. Mike Brown, <laughs> beloved in the juggalo community. And I know I have juggalo fans. I know I do. Do you know that Full Frontal has a history with Juggalos? For real? Juggalos love this show. <laughs> Wait. Are you serious? We had a whole thing with like a big part of the Juggalo community. Juggalos were protesting the FBI designating them a kind of like loosely knit together gang. They were like really speaking truth to power. They were just being really super cool. We talked about them on the show and then this whole offshoot of some Juggalo community was like, Sam B's okay. We're probably an honorary juggalo. And I was like, great. What's Fago? Tune in next week.